first string tenor for you because I'm in love with that guitar and my friend won it in a poker game. And I borrowed it from him four years ago. <laughs> Such a beautiful guitar. I think it's from the early 1900s. And uh, he loaned me it. And after he loaned me it, I called him and he said, you can borrow it but never travel with it. So I said, okay. And I live in uh, San Diego, California now. And so I said to him, don't worry, I won't travel with it. And then I couldn't help it. I took it to New York City for a show. And I was talking to him on the phone. And he heard all these sirens in the background. You could hear a horn, horn honking, and it sounded like New York City. And he said, how's it going? And I said, oh, it's going good. I'm on tour in New York City, and I, I'm always holding the guitar when I'm on the phone with people, and he heard these notes. And he said, you're in New York? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd hear all the sirens going, woo, woo. And he heard the unmistakable sound of this beautiful tenor guitar. He said, do you have my guitar there? And I forgot, and I said, yeah. And he said, you're buying it. And then I got a pickup put in it, and got a nice case belt for it. And this guitar was so excited to get off the plane today here. United Airlines lost it, and then they found it. I know, it was almost gone. You can never replace this thing. I actually almost started crying, but then I went to Flying Star and had a burrito. <laughs> And I gotta tell you, there are some cute girls that walk in and out of Flying Star. I'm going back there tomorrow. And I have the coconut cream pie. <laughs>